it's the naughty professor i'm back and today we're talking about chain yeah who's excited Woo! Why should you not just go to Home Depot or the hardware store and just get some inexpensive chain? Quarter inch is quarter inch, right? Wrong. They call the cheap chain cow chain. Why should you avoid cow chain? Because not only is it weaker, but the sizes are not consistent. When you buy windless chain, you'll notice that it has an ISO in front of it, sometimes a DIN. The ISO stands for International Standards Organization. The DIN is the European version of that. And that means that when you buy windless chain, you know that the length, width, and diameter is going to be consistent. So look for ISO, or in Europe they use DIN when you are shopping for chain. You've probably heard the term proof coil, triple B, G4. What's the difference between all of them? Proof coil, I have right here. Proof coil is an elongated link and it has a little bit more of a squared off look to it. This is quarter inch proof coil. This is quarter inch short length. So they're both quarter inch in diameter. However, you can see that the proof coil is a little bit longer, a little bit more squared off. This means that this is not gonna be as strong. A shorter length means a stronger length. Proof coil will not work in your windlass. Triple B and G4 or G43 chain will work in your windlass. Those are both short length chains. The difference in those is the grade. When you hear the term triple B, triple B was the standard when when this first became popular, kind of like how three strand was the standard. Now, as in rope, we've moved mostly to eight plate. In chain, we've moved over to G4. So 99% of you are going to see G4 in your gypsy guide or your, your windless guide. But if you see triple B, contact your manufacturer. Just make sure that if it says triple B, you can use G4. We're not gonna recommend that you do anything outside of what the manufacturer recommends, but if they give you the go ahead, swap them out, they should be the same size. They should be interchangeable. The difference is great. Triple B chain looks the same as G4 chain. However, it is a grade 30 where the G4 or G43 is a higher grade and it's about 50% stronger. It's also lighter. If weight and strength matters, which to us it matters, go with the G4. That is all that we use here at Dark Horse Marine. We do not use triple B. When you're talking about stainless chain though, you are gonna see the numbers 316 or 316 L. The 316 is the marine grade. And it'll usually say short link. Sometimes it'll even say like sized as G43, but it'll specifically say that it is for your windlass. The difference between the 316 and the 316L, the L in 316L stands for low carbon. Low carbon will make it more corrosion resistant. However, does that matter? It's a higher price point and it usually only comes into play in warm, salty water. However, if that makes a difference to you when you're buying your anchor road or your chain, ask if it's important. Sometimes it's interchangeable. A lot of times 316 will work just fine. Stay tuned for our next video, galvanized versus stainless steel chain.